that. I didn't hear that part. Because I was being over the key. What did you say? The, the jizzle neck offense? Jizzle neck. It sounds like you're defending yourself from jizz. Get out of your neck. Okay, okay. So what should we name a little boy? I look like morning hell. Yeah, I'm not putting myself in mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. If we had a little boy... We should name him Scott Pilgrim Whitfield. That's stupid. It's not stupid. Scott is Jeff Buckley's middle name. It's Duncan Sheik's middle name. Scott Pil- Pilgrim would be his middle name. Scott Pilgrim Whitfield. Gandalf Dumbledore. <laughs> Gandalf Dumbledore Whitfield. He has to have a cool name, but it also it has to be. Well, Gandalf is not a cool name, obviously. Just call him the doctor. The Doctor. <laughs> that's his name. Does Doctor Who actually have a name on the show? It's never been revealed. That's that's why he's called. He's just called the Doctor. So we could call him Who. Nobody knows his real name. Name him Who. Him. We're Doctor Seuss fans. Who Whitfield. Who? This is L. A. We're we're in the entertainment industry. We can get away with it. If Tom Cruise can name his daughter Suri, then we could name our kid Who, and people think it's Peaches Geldof. Come on. Or let's let's throw out some like supernatural names, okay? Winchester Whitfield does not work. We've discussed Castiel. That's a tough one. A Castiel tough. Whitfield. That does not flow. Uh, we could call him Cass. Cass Whitfield. No, the the whole Mama Cass thing. People make jokes at him about choking on a sandwich. I don't even know what you're talking about. You really don't. Okay. Oh, you're talking about from the cat. Uh, we can name him Isley. Isley Whitfield. Even though Isley sounds a little bit more feminine to me. That has a last name, too. Yeah, it sounds like he has two last names. Let's call him Ash. Ash? No. Ash? No. Yes, no. People would call him Ass Whitfield. No, they would not call him Ass. They would call him Ass. Oh, if it's that close to Ash, Ass. Ass Whitfield. Hey, Ass Whitfield. And then he'd get ho- hit over the head with a book. Nobody gets called that. With he'd get hit over the head with a book at, at his locker. Hey, Ass Whitfield. Thoop. He's already going to look like a girl. I-, I picture our son looking exactly like Layla and Mia. He's going to look like the-, the third triplet. Just he's going to be shorter. And then at some point he's going to catch up to the heights because he's a boy and you know how you stupid boys are. Mm. Like, we fight so hard to be tall like supermodels and then like over a summer y'all get tall as shit and like bypass us. Sons of bitches. And they're like, oh, there's my hope to be Heidi Gloom or whoever is tall. Are you falling asleep during my conversation? No. Let's name him Monroe. No. Harlow. That's a girl's name. Let's name him after a female uh, screen actress. Jolie. Shut up. I ain't having a boy with you. I ain't having a baby with you. (laughs) Unless I can name him myself. Let's name him after one of the little rascals. Homer. There has to be something important from our past. Like, we... We picked Annika's name because of the lead singer of The Gathering. And that was Pippi Longstocking's best friend, Annika. Beautiful name. Just name him Cal and call it a day. No, Nicolas Cage named his weirdo son that. That's Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage's kids are going to be weirdos. In one already. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we're weirdos. Mm-hmm. Hunger Games. No, we're not going to name the kid the Hunger Games. I mean... Some of the names from the hunt. No, all of them have awful names. Peta. And you know what? I can't handle gluten, so I'm not naming my kid after a glutinous bread. Okay, you know what? That's I'm done. 